Coco Goff versus Yelena Ostapenko is the second quarter final for the ladies US Open for 2023. And both players have been very impressive again this tournament to get to this stage. Ostapenko entered the tournament as the 20th seed and would take on Paolini in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight through in three, 6-2, 4-6, 6-1. In the second round, she'd take on Avanesian. And again, after dropping the second set, she would fight back to win, 6-3, 5-7, 7-5. In the third round, she'd take on Pera. And again, after splitting the first two sets, Ostapenko would win in three, 4 6-3, 6-3. Six, six, three, six, three. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number one in the world and defending champion Iga Sviantec, player she'd never actually lost to before. And after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 3-6, six, 6-3, six, six, to get to the quarterfinals. Goff entered the tournament as the number six seed and would take on the qualifier Sigmund in the first round. And after dropping the first set, she would fight through the win 3-6, six, 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 In the second round, she'd take on Andreva. And this was a very impressive match by Goff, winning in straight 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, in the third round, she'd take on the 32 seed Mertens, who would save match points in her two previous matches. And after dropping the first set, Goff would fight back to win 3-6, love In the fourth round, she'd take on Wozniacki, who's coming back for the first time in a Grand Slam in three years. And after splitting the first two sets, Goff would fight back to win 6-3, 3-6, 6-1 to advance to another US Open quarterfinal. These two have played twice before with the head-to-head split down the middle 1-1. And the previous meeting being at the Australian Open earlier in the year, with Ostapenko getting the win there. But Goff, we all know, has changed so much in the last couple of months. It'll be great to see a rematch. If Ostapenko is going to win this one, she needs to clean up the errors. There was a lot of errors in Sviantec's match early in the first set, so she needs to clean that up earlier in this match. Otherwise, Goff, if she gets off to a good start, gets that crowd involved, things could get difficult. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to keep her nerve. There's a big opportunity here to make a semi-final. She was supposed to play Sviantec if you looked at the draw. So she's playing Ostapenko. She just lost to her nine months ago or so. So she's got to keep her nerve and be aggressive. She's playing so well and serving so well as well in this one. This is such a great matchup with Goff getting an opportunity to make a semi-final of her home slam. And Ostapenko, very underrated player that nobody wants to play in these draws. I've got to go with Goff though. The hometown favorite in three sets. I reckon Goff will get it done in the end. Ostapenko played great against Fiontech, but she has played a lot of three setters this week. And you wonder if Goff might be able to just get the energy of the crowd and get through to the finals. But let me know in the comments below who's making the semi-final.